Hey, hey, everybody, it's Tuesday, and I've got a special edition of Facebook Live today. I usually go live on Fridays. I haven't gone live on a Tuesday in a long time, so I thought today was a special occasion, and we should go live so I can show you all the new coordination products. Um, in case you haven't heard, today there's six new products from Stampin' Up!, which is super awesome. I'm going to find you guys on my iPad so I can see your comments, hopefully. Make sure I'm in the right place. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Thanks for joining me today. Um, in so in like I was saying at the beginning, in case you haven't heard, we have six new products. And by we, I mean Stamping Up. And they are awesome. Let's see. I'm going to post this over here and be done and be able to see your comments. All right, good. Hello, everybody. All right. Susan, it's cold in West Texas. <gasps> That makes me excited because I'm in South Texas and that means it's coming. Today it's supposed to be like 85 or something crazy here. I right, send your cold weather here, please. All right, so six new products. Um, you might have seen the flyers that we've been sharing for a few weeks now. They're called coordination products, which means they coordinate with things that are already available in either the spring catalog or the celebration catalog. Um, and they're awesome. Um, we love coordination. That's one of the things Stampin' Up! is known for, coordinating uh, products, coordinating colors. And so these these products do not disappoint. Um, we have five new die sets and a whole new pack of designer series paper, which I'm going to show you. Um, the paper I'm saving for last because it's my favorite, and that's what we're going to do today because it's super cute. Um, in case you don't know, you can go over to pinkbuckaroo.com. That's my blog, and today's post has all the details with a direct link over to the Stampin' Up! store where you can see the products, you can see how much they cost, you can see what they coordinate with. I also link this little flyer right here. Um, this one, it doesn't have any really cute pictures on it, but it will tell you exactly what it coordinates with. Um, because I know in the beginning when I saw a couple of these die sets, I didn't know right off the bat what they were um, what they went with. So this flyer helps you kind of figure all of that out. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Okay, so I think without further ado, I will switch us over and just fair warning, there's been something crazy going on with my phone. The last two times I have done live, it has popped off the holder like crazy weird scares me half to death did it again this morning when i was doing the facebook live with my team so fingers crossed today we don't have any weird craziness all right the dogs are put away no barking we'll see thank you i'm glad you guys like my earrings i don't know where they're from i feel like they're from like a craft sale or something i can't remember but i'm glad you guys like them they go with everything okay i'm going to switch you over so nothing i don't have a fancy way of doing this i'm just going to switch you turn you over and while I get you settled here you get a little sneak peek of the projects that I've made with a new um, please as punch designer series paper all right hold on give me one second all right I think we're good now little phone holder you just behave and don't scare us all again like you did Friday all right, let me move all of this out of the way, and I'm just gonna kind of go through all of these products. And let me put this so I can see you guys. Okay, sneak peek, save that for the last, for the end, because that's my favorite. We're gonna make some of those. So on the flyer, you'll see we have uh, five new die sets, and that's what I'm gonna run through first. I have shown you guys some of this. If you watch my Facebook Fridays over on my, um, in my group, Pink Buckaroo Stampers group. You will have seen a lot of this before. Um, but if not, I'm gonna go ahead and run through them again. This card was made with these new dies. Now I have a terrible memory and I can't remember any of the names. So I'm gonna have to cheat and look over here. <laughs> um, I blame it on my kids. They've sucked all my smart smartness out. <laughs> all right, these dies are called Sending Flowers dies. They coordinate with the Sending You Thoughts, which you will recognize from the Celebration Catalog. This is one of the free products you get when you spend $50 in January, February, or March. This is one you can choose from. So these coordinate with this. And you'll notice, um, you know, the star of this little product here is obviously this die. 
which I'll tell, talk to you about in a second. But the thing that I didn't notice until I started playing with it were these two dies. And so these dies will cut out, you know, your words. They'll be little um, banners for you to stamp your words. Um, now, this, I will say, can definitely be a standalone die. Um, if you don't have this or you don't want this, you can still use this without this stamp set. Um, as you can see, the die itself pretty much makes the whole card. Um, you can use different sentiments, you know, whatever you want. But the die cuts out this, and then what I did is use these two little dies to cut out little flowers in different colors, and I glued them on, and then I took just a Stampin' um, Blend and just colored some of those stems to kind of give it some variation. And you'll see that gorgeous, um, Please does punch designer series paper there in the background. Okay, so that's number one coordination project product. The next one is called, and I get these mixed up because that one's called Sending You Thoughts and this one's called Positive Thoughts. <laughs> these are called Nature's Thoughts dies and you'll see they coordinate with this stamp set. And this stamp set is over in our new spring catalog, the January to June catalog. Um, that's where this stamp set is. And if you like these, you can get the dies to cut them out. Um, I've only made one card so far with this set, but you can see it cuts them out nicely and it has this really awesome um, not really stitched, but embossed frame piece. Um, you can see the little dots, very, very cute. Just gives your little framed piece a little extra um, wow factor. Um, okay, so there's that, positive thoughts in the spring catalog, and then the, these are the Nature's Thoughts dies. Now, if you're looking for these new coordination products, they're not in any catalog, they're only online. So you're gonna have to go to our online store and check them out. Now here's the next one. This is a stamp, um, a celebration stamp set. Another one of those you get for free when you spend $50 in um, January, February, or March. And now of course we have the dies. And if you were around last year during celebration, this kind of reminds me of the cupcake set because we have this gorgeous, um, cake stand. That was one of the die sets that sold out quickly last year and everybody wanted it and we were sad. So now we have this gorgeous um, cake stand and I've made a few cards with this and this is kind of a sneak peek. I'm going to use these. We're going to do these in face during Facebook Friday next week, at the end of next week. I'm way ahead with my designing. I just couldn't stop playing with all these new products. But you can see the, the cake is just there's lots of different options you can do with that cake. Of course, before we had the dies, you just can stamp it and you know emboss and color. And then when we got the dies, we could cut it out with those awesome um, outlined dies. Um, also here you'll see there's these extra little pieces that can go behind your cake and make it a little fancier. And then if you don't want to do the cake, if you just want to do flowers, there's this die that cuts out just those flowers. So it really helps you get a lot of reach out of your stamp set. Um, you don't have to just have it for a cake. Here I did celebrate. That could be for a wedding or a bridal shower or something. Um, so anyways, I really like how these dies kind of take this stamp set beyond just that cake image. Really, really cool. Okay, so that's number three. Now, number four here is the little ladybug dies. The ladybug, the little ladybug set is a special um, celebration stamp set that you get for free. The only way to get it is to either place an order or host a class or a workshop um, or a party where all the orders total $300. And after you get up to that $300 mark, um, it'll prompt you to add this on for free. And it's quite a big stamp set. It has really cute sentiments. And then of course now, it's even cuter because we've got all these matching dies. You've got the ladybugs, you've got the flower, grass. I always need little grass, tufts of grass for my cards. Um, there's some flowers and leaves and then this little um, stitched, you know, shows where the ladybug, the little trail that the ladybug went on. I haven't even really used these that much yet, but I did make two cards early on and you could see here where I've cut it out and popped it up. Um, I fussy cut that in the beginning, but now we don't have to fussy cut it, right? Because we've got these coordinating dies um, that will cut them out. Um, so really cool. If you are lucky enough to have um, gotten one of these for free so far, now you need to add on the dies, the ladybug dies. Um, also, I wanted to let you know that if you are 
not wanting to host a local party, if you can't yourself put in a $300 order to get this for free, you can get your friends together and just put a, an order together, um, you know, combine your orders on one order and then you'll have that little ladybug set and you can share it. Um, or if you did all the legwork, man, then it's yours, right? <laughs> so um, if you really want this set and you want to do maybe just a little um, group order, let me know. I'll be happy to help you with that. All right, number five, and this is going to be this week's Facebook Friday. Um, I'm live every Friday over on my, uh, like I said, Pink Buckaroo Stampers group and at two o'clock central. And this week we're going to do special someone. This is the one I was really, really excited about. This stamp set is in the spring catalog. I love cute critters and these guys are so cute. Even though my mom and I laugh because she hates raccoons because they destroy her bird feeders. She has like a war with raccoons <laughs> at her old house. So, um, but I think he's really cute. Um, and then we've got the squirrel and the mouse, some great um, sentiments and then these cute little balloons. Now, now the dyes really take them up because look at this die. You may not be able to tell what this is, but look, this is cuts out like a little grouping of string. So you don't have to kind of, you know, we've all fiddled with trying to try to make them go behind the balloon. That's hard to do. But this just cuts out this one big piece and you glue it down and then you can put your balloons on there. I really like that aspect and I think that really um, helps you to use those balloons a little bit better. Also, there's this die here that cuts out Let's see if I can get it. Cuts out this string. So if you just want to do one balloon, you, this one will cut that string out for you. So anyway, I don't know. I just thought that was very clever. There's a speech bubble um, that goes over here. Here's one that uses the speech bubble. And then the grass. I love, again, grass. I'm always looking for grass edge on my um, on my card. So I use that little edgelet to cut those, those little uh, grass pieces. Okay, so there's that. We'll make these on Friday. And any orders you put in this week, if you use the host code, um, oh, and I meant to put it up here. It's over on my blog today. Um, and I'll, uh, when I edit the video, I'll add the host code up there at the top. But if you use the host code between now and Monday at midnight, and your order is over $35, I'm gonna send you Friday's Make and Takes for free next week. All right, so this is what we're gonna do Friday. Okay, and now we have come to my favorite coordination product, and it is the Pleased as Punch Designer Series Paper. So let me show you the paper first. Um, we, demonstrators got to pre-order this, and we were limited to two packs of Designer Series Paper, and I have pretty much used all of it. Um, I tried to hold one full sheet of each so I could show it to you, but I love it so much, and I'm actually designing two different classes right now that use this paper um, for the upcoming um, next month. So cute. Um, one thing I do want to point out as well, I think I said this in the beginning, these are while supplies last. So if you love these products, please make sure you get them ordered quickly. I have no idea. They may have enough to last until the end of March, but they might not. Um, they, they have a hard time predicting what is going to be popular and what's going to sell um, as quickly as, you know, sometimes things surprise them. So make sure if you just have to have some of these products, especially this paper, um, make sure you get your order in sooner rather than later. All right, so this paper is called Pleased as Punch because it coordinates with our punches. Here's the tulip punch from the spring catalog. And as you can see, it punches out the tulips and the leaves. I love this bright color coordination. And on the back is just a good green, a monochromatic green. We're going to use that in a minute to make a card. Then this one um, I use to make my stamp club cards this month. I'm going to show you those. And um, this one coordinates with that heart punch. And, you know, you thought maybe the heart punch you would only use during Valentine's. Nope. Look, you've got hearts in all kinds of colors. You can use them all year long with your heart punch. That's in the punch pack. Um, and then the back, my favorite, gingham. You guys know I love check. Um, so this is a pink check, of course. Gorgeous. Love it. Um, uh, my problem with this paper is I'm having a hard time cutting it because I'm, you know, if I, if I want to use this side, then I worry that I will mess it up, that I can't use this side. I love the patterns all so much that I'm having a hard time deciding on which side to use. Now this one is our umbrella punch and there's two different kinds of umbrellas one that's open and one that's somewhat closed and there's the little um handles as well love all these bright colors this is my favorite one right here 
I like that one a lot. And then on the back, of course, raindrops. It goes perfectly with the um, umbrellas. And then the rainbow. Hmm. Absolutely. This is my favorite in the whole pack. I love it so much. And then on the back, the last one, this coordinates with the celebration punch. This is in the celebration catalog. This is one of the items you get free with a hundred dollar purchase. So these will cut out those flowers and we're going to do that in just a minute. I'm going to show you. So let me move um, over here and just show you a couple of things that I made. Um, this one is a tic tac tic tac holder. We're not going to make this one today because I think this is going to be part of a class. But you can see I made a little holder for tic tacs, um, and just use that. There's a sentiment there in that um, umbrella set that says "Hello Sunshine," and so I just thought that was so cute. All right, then I made this one, and this little milk carton is my friend Angie Judah's design. Um, her um, little milk carton tutorial is over on her blog, but I just made it and used the little raindrops and the, the little flower, I mean the little umbrella, that's my favorite guy, he's so cute. And then this is one of my stamp club projects this month. It holds some Tic Tacs, and there are those little flowers, those little punched flowers. Um, and then these are my stamp club cards using those hearts. And look at them in the four different colors. Aren't they fun? I used them with a um, Golden Honey Designer Series paper. Um, whoops, my camera's kind of swinging. Sorry, I better turn my fan off. Um, with that black and white, I just love the way it looks. And in you can, you know, mix up the colors and it just gives it a totally different feel. So there's that. And then I think all I have left are the projects that we're gonna make. So let's make some projects. These are pretty easy cards we're gonna do today that really show off the paper. Um, I have a doctor's appointment today, so I have to be done <laughs> by 12.45. So we'll see, hopefully, I think I can get all three of them done today. Um, we're gonna start with this one. This is so fun. Um, this is, of course, those tulips that um, are on the paper. We have the tulip stamp set where you can stamp the tulip um, and punch it out with a coordinating punch, but I really like the way these looked, so I decided to just punch out a bunch of them, and we're gonna make a little pot, and let me just dump all my pieces out. I've done most of the work ahead of time, so this shouldn't take us very long. Now the question is, did I get my adhesive? Because, no I didn't, here it is. I got set up and then I started designing stuff and pulled all my adhesive back over. All right, now we're going to take just a piece of this gingham and here, here are the hearts, see, it's just like, oh, I don't wanna cut the hearts in half, but that's okay. We're sacrificing the hearts for the adorable gingham. And I'm gonna put it on a um, blushing bride card base, although under these lights, I think that probably should be a petal pink card base. Either way, both of those colors are listed in the designer series paper, so it works. All right, now let's make our little our little pot. And I didn't type a PDF today um, up. Everything's pretty simple, but here are the pieces for the pot: three by two, and three fourths by th three fourths of an inch by three and a fourth inch. Wow, that's confusing. Both in crumb cake. And on this one, I, let me grab my little trimmer. This one I marked a quarter inch from each edge just with a ruler. Okay, see there? And I'm going to take this, no, no, put the marks on the bottom, right? <laughs> Make my pot upside down. And line up your mark right there on the edge of your trimmer and just cut it off at an angle. All right, this is the new little mini trimmer that is available in the starter kit right now. You get it for free. It's my favorite thing right now. Okay, now we're gonna take our dimensionals, of course, and we're gonna put this on here, down here, and then I'm gonna take a couple of more couple more dimensionals, put them here and put this like this to make this little flower pot. All right, now I have already done a bunch of punching, um, but let's, let me just show you how easy this is. You're gonna take your um, punch and turn it upside down, and then you're gonna punch your flowers out just like that. Now you'll see here, you have to be, you have to plan a little bit ahead. You can see that 
it might punch another one of those shapes. One thing that I have found that you have to do too is trim the paper as you go so that you can get your punch in there. Um, one thing you can do is cut the pieces like this and that way you don't have as much waste. And the leaves are a little bit trickier to punch, but cutting them out of the paper and then, you know, moving them around as needed um, helps. And if you get down to a small piece and you're like me and you don't want to waste it, let me show you. Like if you have this, grab a post-it note. All right, let's see and stick the post-it note on it so that you can then, actually it needs to go this way. Let's cut some of that off. If you have a little piece that you need to punch, you can use your post-it note to feed it down in there like that. All right, so you can use all your little pieces. Now we're just gonna kind of put these in here, you know, just, any which way, <laughs> there's no real rhyme or reason. I have cut a little, um, a few strips, these are a quarter inch. This is the back of the tulip piece, that's the green pattern. Hey everybody who's joining, thanks for joining me today. And I'm just gonna put some stems like this. Let's just start in the middle and work on work our way out. All right, and we'll put one mm, like that. All right, now we're gonna have a couple um poking out and look when i punched this one it was kind of off the edge but i thought we could hide it like that all right so we'll just slide it behind it'll be overlapping here in a minute oh if i can get it in there like that let's do one over here like that and then we'll take these leaves and we'll do one like that and another one over here like this all right and we're just going to fill in our tulips because they're going to be layered behind each other really you probably only need one stem i think that's probably all you're going to see we need a purple one do i have a purple one punched yes i do right there I'm gonna slide that in there. I don't like that. That needs to go down a little bit lower like that. There we go. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Maybe they need to go higher. All right, well, we're gonna leave it like that. You know what we could do? So we could put one like that. Oh yeah, that'll fix it. But then we covered the stem completely, didn't we? Oh well, there we go. And then I'm gonna fill in with some more leaves. If you love punches, this is definitely paper you need to get. This is really fun, a fun way to get lots of use out of your punches. All right, now I could just keep adding and adding and adding, but for the sake of time, well, maybe I'll do two more. Put one there and one there. Now I decided to use a sentiment from the tulip set. I really liked the cute little saying Let's move all the trash, get all this out of here. Save those for another card. I really like this saying that says, happy Easter, happy spring, happy, happy everything. Now you could send this as an Easter card, right? Or you could just send this as a thank you card. You could send it as a thinking of you card. It doesn't have to necessarily be for Easter. I'm gonna adhere it right across. Thanks, Cheryl, I appreciate it. And right there, and I'm going to trim it so that it matches the edge of my card. And last but not least, we need a bow, of course. I actually put in an order this morning for a bunch of this paper, because I know I'm gonna use a ton of it over the next month or two and classes and events, all kinds of fun things. All right, a linen bow with a glue dot right in the middle, and there you have it. What do you guys think? Isn't that adorable? Look, this one has more tulips than that one. Very pretty. 
I love this paper. I just, I'm not kidding. I can't stop using it. Y'all are going to get sick of it because I'm using it so much on everything. All right. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. I appreciate it. Now, let me clean up my mess and we'll make the next card. What time is it? Okay, I'm doing pretty good. Move these out of the way. This one is a is a fun, simple card too. And it uses that rainbow paper. And again, I want to hoard this paper. I don't want to use it. But oh my gosh, how can we not use it? It's gorgeous, right? So pretty. One thing I didn't mention is that in the packs of paper, um, there are three sheets of each design. So there are four different designs, four double-sided designs, and you get three sheets of each piece. So you get a little more of each pattern than our normal packs, which is really nice. All right, so I cut a card base, just a normal Whisper White card base, and I cut a piece of designer series paper, four by five and a fourth, put it on there. I have cut a um, vellum stitched, scalloped rectangle, which is part of the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And I'm just gonna put it there. I'm not gonna worry too much about adhesive because I'm gonna cover it up. Okay, now I'm gonna get this. Oh, I better stamp it before I put it on, right? I'm using this stamp set, which is really fun. So sentimental. This is from the spring catalog. Um, and I'm gonna use, I can't thank you enough. My kids right now are writing thank you notes. Um, oh, I already have it on the block. Hello. My kids right now are writing thank you notes. They were, um, they had their 4-H animals in the auction a week and a half ago, and now they have to write thank you notes to all their buyers. They each have to write 18 thank you notes. And so I need a lot of thank you cards right now. Oh, well that ink pad is not inked well. Let's try that again. Let me grab my other one. I need to ink it. Good thing cardstock has two sides, right? Let's hope that I get this one right, or then we're in trouble. All right, Memento Black. There we go, much better. And put this on with some dimensionals. Thanks for sharing, I appreciate it. It does look like spring, Karen. I know, I think that's what I like so much about it. Um, Nina, no, the paper doesn't shimmer. It doesn't have a shine or anything on it. It's just normal paper. All right, now we're gonna punch out some of these cute little flowers from the designer series paper using this punch from the celebration catalog. And just like we did with the tulips, we might have to cut our paper a little bit to get our punch to fit right, but I like to go down and see which ones I can punch first without cutting. So I'm gonna cut some of these out and we need five. I'm gonna sit in front of the TV tonight and cut a bunch of these because I've gotta make all my stamp club to go projects using this set, using these um, using these flowers. Okay, let's see, what color do we not use? Let's do that pink one right there. So if you cut just little sections off, you can get to it right there. All right, now we're ready. And I have a little ink boo-boo there, so let's fix that. You know what, we need many dimensionals for this. Did I bring those today? Let's see. I always have too many, there we go. I always have more many dimensionals than regular dimensionals until I need the regular, or the many dimensionals, and then I can't find them. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take these. This is looks like Calypso Coral, and, um, Blushing Bride, and we've got Pool Party, and or that's Coastal Cabana, that's Pool Party. But I think this flower here is Pool Party. And I'm gonna layer these like that. Put one in the middle, like that. Mm. Mm, do I like that? Yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna get some pearls. And my take your pick tool. Boy, this guy's been getting a workout lately. I probably need some new putty on the end. I've been using this putty end quite a bit with all my sequins. So you just get it on the end like that. And then you can pick up your pearls. These are just our basic pearls. Nope, I'm not gonna do one there because I'm gonna do a bow. And one, we'll do a bigger one right there. 
And last but not least, of course, we need a little bow. Thank you, Joyce, I appreciate it. Hi, Carol, glad you made it. Hello from Texas. Okay, now I'm gonna trim that and grab some mini glue dots. And hmm, I don't have the right end on my, all right, well, I'm just gonna use my fingernails. <laughs> Ta-da, there we go, how cute. Those flowers look so cute with that rainbow paper, don't they? Let me show you that other project that I have. This is my stamp club project. And I'll show you guys how to make this later on. Not today though, so cute, so cute. All right, one more. We've got one more card to show you, to convince you that you need this paper in your life, for sure. And this one is really simple. Um, hopefully I can find it, there it is. This one is with the umbrella, and I will say that I have been sitting on my hands trying not to use our umbrella stamp set um, or our umbrella punch because I wanna save it for March and April. I, do you guys see I have something? <laughs> I'm always with paper scraps all over me. All right, so, but now that we have this paper, I just can't resist using it because so cute. All right, well, come on. This stuff's not in a basket, I'm having to pick it up. All right, so here's our paper. Um, and then the back side is the raindrop. So let's do that part first. We'll adhere that down. Candy stripe paper, that's a good way to describe it, Sharon, candy stripes. All right, so four by five and a fourth on a balmy blue um, card base, simple. Then I've got a strip of Whisper White that is three-fourths of an inch. Mm, no, I think it's five-eighths of an inch. Um, and I'm gonna use a different sentiment this time. That one I use, rain or shine, you're always on my mind. This one, same stamp set under my umbrella. Um, and it says, no matter the weather, we're friends forever. Isn't that cute? I love these clever little sayings. Um, and so I just stamped that in pumpkin pie. Now, I took a piece of a one and a half inch piece of balmy blue and used my Be Mine Stitched Dies scalloped stitched border there on the bottom. And I'm going to put that right there so that the, you've got the scallop on the bottom and just a little bit of that blue on the top. Janet, you have them on you also. Oh, and your dog, yes. That's the funniest, when they're looking at you and you see they've got dimensional papers on them. <laughs> Oopsie, sorry. My dogs don't care as long as I'm paying attention to them. They wear whatever. All right, now let's get the punch. It's hidden, here it is. Now this one can be a little bit tricky because you can see how it's set up. So again, you might want to cut out stuff from your paper first and use that little post-it note trick if you're concerned about, you know, messing up your paper. Um, so I'm gonna do this one here at the bottom, like that. We'll do purple today. And then, now to get this, luckily this is a new sheet, so I think what I can do, let's see. Mm, I'm gonna have to cut it. So I'm gonna take my scissors and very strategically, Cut around my umbrellas, get my post-it note again, and you kind of have to look and see, how do I need to put it in there? I need to put it in there like this. And, uh-oh, come on post-it note, don't fail me now. Put that in, oh, I gotta cut this part off. It's like surgery, you're doing surgery to get these in there just right. So let's slide it down. <laughs> Come on, my paper's bent now and it won't go in. All right, here we go, here we go, we got it. Let's see, I gotta make sure it's very small. There we go, does it look good? All right, let's see, where did it go? There it is. And then you've got all these little trash pieces. All right, so 
let's use just a little bit of Tombow on this guy. Just a bit or your fine tip glue, whichever you prefer. And put that across like that. And then dimensionals, of course. Yeah, Kay, that post-it note trick will help you with a lot of punches. I've had to do that many times where I've stamped on a paper that's too small. <laughs> I seem to always do that. All right, so put that there. Now, where did our twine go? It's over here. We're going to make another little bow, but wait, we're not done yet. You might not have seen the other little thing that I added to the card, and I want to show you because it just really takes it up a notch. All right, little tiny bow, just a tiny, tiny bow and a glue dot. If you guys remember in the holiday catalog we had well let's see if this will work we had um shimmery crystal effects and it's still available on the website and you might have ordered some and i'm going to show you how cute it is can you guys see how i've added raindrops can you guys see that is that hard to see in the, this light and i've added some to each of these not all of them but some of them, you can see some raindrops over here. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, the, the trick here is to remember that your card is wet <laughs> and not set anything on it. So I just go from the bottom of the raindrop up and kind of pull it like that, and it will just kind of mimic that raindrop shape. So I'm gonna do that. Maybe not all of the raindrops, but maybe just the bigger white ones that stand out. And then, I'm going to add some to my umbrella, same way, down here a few, and make it kind of fat on the bottom and then pull it up so it makes that raindrop shape. And there you have it. All right, so shimmery crystal effects. I don't think it's in any of the current catalogs, only online, okay? Isn't that cool? I love it. I've been using this, this shimmery crystal effects more since the holiday catalog ended, since bef um, more than I did when, when it was in the catalog. But it's still available. Still available on our website. All right, there you have it. Three pretty simple cards that I did in probably 20 minutes, right? Let's move this one just because I, you know it's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna set something on it. All right, you guys, so let's look, we've got the raindrop card, we've got the rainbow, the candy stripes, as someone called it, and our tulip card, three different fun, fast cards that I used, the punches and the paper, and just different stamp sets, different sentiment stamp sets. All right, what do you guys think? Isn't this paper fantastic? I love it. Now, remember, orders that go in from now until Monday at midnight that are over $35 and use the host code will get Friday's projects, not these, but Friday's projects for free. I hope you'll come back and join me on Friday. I'll be live over in my group. Um, and so you can click on, I'll add the link here. You can click on there and click join. Everybody's welcome. If you're a demonstrator, you're more than welcome to come join us. Um, we just stamp and uh, on Fridays and have lots of fun. Um, you'll get to know my dogs <laughs> and my UPS man. They like to, to interrupt um, all the time. Um, but anyways, let me show you real quickly on, um, let's see, pink. Let me open my blog and then I will show you. I've got this information here today, pinkbuckaroo.com and there's some links. So you can click on the links hopefully, and they will take you right to those products that we use today. Um, also up here, there's that list so you can see what coordinates with what. And then if you click this one where it says you can shop here, it's got all six of the new project products. And did I add the host code on today's, I'm thinking, did I not? 
Maybe I didn't add the host code. I know I put it on Facebook last night. Oh my gosh, I didn't. Okay, as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna put that host code here in the description and over on my blog for you guys so you'll know what to use when you order. All right, you guys, I gotta run. I've got a doctor's appointment, and um, but I will see you on Friday, two o'clock central over in my group, okay, you guys? Have a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you Friday. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.